Hello everyone, so I lost the top to my aluminum salt shaker I made recently, um, and so I am going to remake it. I am doing a quick CAD model of it, so I can just kind of show you what I how I usually go around making a part. I didn't really need to do it for this one because I already have made the part and have what I'm fitting it to, but it's just kind of walking through what I usually do when making one of these. So here, once I finish the um, solid model, I dropped it into the drawing section of Fusion 360, and um, I scaled it up into, I think it's about twice normal size, and then I'm going to drop dimensions on it. This is helpful, just at the machine you can see what you're trying to make and all the dimensions and stuff. So here you can um, see I chucked up a piece of inch and a half aluminum and I'm just facing off the front here and just getting it to the starting size. I just did a quick center hole and then drilled it out just a little bit to start the boring. Here I'm using a little high speed steel boring tool and I'm using my mist coolant for this because I don't really have a chip breaker on that boring tool and so the chips get pretty big and will stick to it so the mist cooling really helps that and gets them out of there. Here I'm doing a um, thread relief in the back of it with this tool. So now I'm starting the single point threading. This is pretty scary because I'm going up to a hard shoulder. So I have a few different stops um, set up. No hard stops, just a um, indicator on the ways. I'm turning in on the compound uh, about five thou per pass.
Here I'm just using the threading tool to do a nice chamfer on it. And then I'm polishing up with some gray scotch bright. Double checking the fit. And I use that tool and um, turn the lathe in reverse to do that um, chamfer on the back side. Here I'm using a parting tool and I never had luck with these. It seemed to be going pretty well in the beginning and the, I used the mister and everything else. And then up here it crashed. There you go, right there. And it just kind of dug in and you can see the, it's kind of scraped into the sides. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I had plenty of coolant. So if anyone has any uh, help with that, it'd be greatly appreciated. So I just took it out and cut it off on the um, bandsaw. Here I threaded it onto the salt shaker and held that in the chuck. So I had an easy um, way of holding it. And now I'm just facing off the top. Here I'm just doing a quick chamfer with a 45 degree tool and then polishing it up with the scotch bread. Now I had to use some channel locks and a rag to get the top off. Um, it didn't seem to scratch it up or anything so that worked pretty well. Now I put a little piece of rubber in there about eighth inch thick. That's just to seal the, um, the salt in so it doesn't get stuck in the threads. And there it is all finished up. Turned out pretty well. And, if, and at school everyone loves that I have salt because it makes the food pretty much edible. Here you can see I did um, the out the threads that I just cut in the thing are um, inch and a quarter, 20. And then the threads on the grid that I'm unscrewing right now, I believe are inch and an eighth, 24. So it's kind of unique threads, but with the lathe you can cut any threads you want, so it doesn't really matter. Now you can see I just bored that out, and um, it holds plenty of salt for me. Now you can see it all finished up really turned out well. It's kind of a fun project you can do with just a lathe. I drilled out the holes in the mesh in the top with my drill press and just laid them out by hand. Hope you all have a good day.